asked for some strength training moves, and so um, I'm going to show some of them today. I have these little eight pound weights. You can use whatever weight you're comfortable with. I'm gonna do a lot of repetition, so I'm gonna stick with eight pounds. Um, and then I've got XE, I've got the bar, and I've got the keeper, okay? So today, during this period or keep going harder or sometimes during the resting period I like to just go in reverse. Take a break. It's pretty high resistance right there. Higher the resistance, the higher you're going to tone. I like to crank it high and do it in reverse and then go forward too and get that hamstring going but also reverse. Break again. There we go. This time, I'm gonna get my butt up.
during the break again, you can make the resistance easier, but we're talking about strength training, you want to have it higher resistance. That's all you got. Skedaddle. You know you got seven minutes in. So let's go at least ten. Okay. Cardio and 
set 10, a little over 10 minutes. The idea is take XC with you wherever you want, okay? Strength training, anywhere, no gym required, crank up the resistance, and then you can really double dip on cardio and strength training. All right, so 11 minutes right there. Just wanna give you a quick example and uh, hope to, to do something different tomorrow. And have a great day, day one of our XC strength training challenge here. And uh, again, it's whatever weight you're comfortable with. Right there, I was doing a lot of repetitions. So eight pounds is plenty for me. I probably, maybe might consider doing a little bit more, but um, this is actually new to me too, just with doing weights. A lot of times, I've done it occasionally with weights, but I really try to focus on just using XC as a standalone system. And it's given me everything that I need. Um, but as we, if people want to try strength training with adding weights, and this way we're doing is totally efficient because you can come up here, right, and do your arms at the same time, and then go back into your legs, back and forth that way. If you don't have any weights, hammer, do that because it is great for strength training. Um, we'll get into another move tomorrow. I'm finishing here at 88.8, so you can see I didn't get a really hot and high intensity there. But I got my heart rate up, got some some uh, strength training in both my legs and um, with my arms. But also getting my butt up like that 